Good evening and welcome to the House of Prayer. This is yours truly, Sister Angie Grizzle. Stay tuned for a groundbreaking preaching tonight by Brother Evangelist Willie Grizzle. He will be on shortly. If you would like to send him a prayer line, you can contact him at 270-681-8098. You can hit him up on brothergrizzle76 gmail.com or you can hit him up on Facebook at Evangelist Willie Grizzle. Stay tuned and God bless. And one I can't forget But to the world it made no difference Some even frown But the angels rejoice When my name was written down Unworthy of his mercy Still he paid my debt I've had a birth I can't remember And one I can't forget This is yours truly, the evangelist Willie Grizzle from Scottsville, Kentucky. I hope today that you're on fire for God, and if you're not, cut it out, repent, and get on fire. Amen. To all you mothers out there this weekend, happy Mother's Day. Especially happy Mother's Day to my mother-in-law, Sue Payne. Amen. Uh, Sister Sue Payne and my wife, uh, Angie Payne, the one that does announces here, she's a... special mother in my uh, to my little girl and uh she just all in all mama amen <laughs> praise god let's remember uh sister shirley amen she's a mom praise god that uh she uh wish her a happy mother's day and all you mothers out there live or archive or on the cd or however you're listening to the service today we wish you a happy mother's day Praise God. Let, so we go on to be talking about looking for answers. Amen. You know, there's so many people in the world today that are seeking answers for um, fortune, seeking answers for salvation. See, one thing you always need to do is seek the kingdom of God. Amen. That's where the answers are, my friend, around that throne room. Praise God. So we're going to be talking about seeking for answers. You know, there's a lot of people. Lately, I've been noticing they... People are looking for the witchcraft. They're work, looking for a uh, Ouija board to talk to the dead. Let me tell you something. Dead, I can't help you. You don't believe me? Read about Lazarus and the king. Amen. Praise God. He'll tell you all about what happens when you try to talk to the dead. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, today, we're just going to sit back and we're just going to obey God. Praise God. We're going to go through the scriptures. 
And we're going to talk about Jesus Christ. And if you don't want to hear about the true living king or the living God, you might as well go ahead and turn off and uh, go play your little fairy tale games because that's what, you, if you're living your life that way, that's what, the way you're going to be. Amen. See, I, I serve a true living God. I serve a mighty God that forgave me. He has uh, sanctified me, sealed me, and give me a big mouth. Amen. Praise God that we're out about to do the Father's business. And today we got some special songs. Amen. Praise God. Uh, Sister Shirley, praise God, had sent me a song through Facebook. Praise God. And I want to play that for you today. And the name of it, I think, is called Thank You, Lord. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, today I want you to, uh, if you see Sister Shirley, tell her thank you for the song. And most of all, just give her a big hug and a kiss for me. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, enjoy this song. Uh, thank you, Lord. When I stop to count my blessings, it's easy, Lord, to see. I'm blessed beyond measure, sure being good to me. I know I don't deserve it, in your debt I'll always be. So I'd like to take this moment down on bended knees to say thank you. From the bottom of my heart, Lord, I praise you. How wonderful you are. It would take eternity. That wouldn't be enough to find a way. Time to say thank you. So often I take for granted the blessings you bestow. I don't want to seem ungrateful, just want you to know I've pledged my life to you, and I'm longing for the day When I bow in your presence, there my crown I'll lay And say thank you, from the bottom of my heart Lord I'll praise you, how wonderful you are it would take eternity, that wouldn't be enough to find a way, a time to say thank you. And I'll say thank you from the bottom of my heart, Lord, I'll praise you, how wonderful you are. It would take eternity, that wouldn't be enough. Find a way, time to say thank you. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Sister Shirley from Pikeville, Kentucky. She sent that song through a video, through an instant message, and uh, it's a blessing. Praise God. You know, that's my little songbird. That's what I call her, my little songbird. Amen. She's a, she's a, uh, I, I can't explain it. She's just a, just a, a blessing to my heart. I call her my second mama. Amen. She's uh, she's always been good to me. We've never had a cross word that I know of. If we have, well, I guess we repented from it and <laughs> we moved on. Praise God. So, brothers and sisters, uh, let's remember Sister Shirley. Let's remember that little redhead of hers, uh, Silo, I think her name is. I call her a little red. Praise God. But uh, her and her new husband, praise God, uh, that, uh, that God will give them pleasures, understandings, and... Uh, strength to carry on praise god but you know today we're looking for answers amen you know there's so many tactics today that people wants to use theological or use uh, the stars or the moons and looking for signs and wonders let me tell you something the only thing you need to be searching for is the hand of god amen pray the grace and mercy of our lord jesus christ that went up on a cross died for you Put in a tomb, three days later he rose. Praise God. And you know, today we need to understand what God have us to do. Praise God. So here we go. Well, let's go into scriptures. Praise God. See, don't take my word. You take the word of God. Look over in first uh, second Chronicles. Uh, Colossians, amen. Uh, Chron uh, Chronicles, yeah. Nine eight. And it says, God give uh God, God can give you more blessings than you need. Then you will always have plenty of everything and enough to give 
to every good work. Praise God. You know, everything that he does for us, my friends, he gives it in abundance. Amen. How many times have you give abundance to someone in a time of need? Amen. See, if Jesus woke you up this morning, you're blessed. Praise God. He gave, he gave you life today. He gave you an opportunity to stand up and proclaim the word of God. But it, what are you doing with it? Praise God. Are you seeking out the word of God? Are you doing what he says? Are you a good steward? Praise God. You know, a lot of people say they're a steward of God. But when it comes down to doing the facts of Jesus Christ, they don't want to come up off of their own wallet. Or they don't want to come up off of their possessions of the world. See, today is a day of salvation. It's time for you to wake up, America, because you have fallen back from God. Amen, that's true. You see, you guys are allowing the, the Congress, the government, the, the, power, the powers of the be of the world uh, to be uh, run over the body of Christ. See, we're allowing people get married that are man to man and woman to woman we got they're trying to legalize sin that's that's just the point point blank range my friends and today we're going to ask you are you seeking the answers of god and what are you doing about it when you do get the answer amen see there's a lot of people who wants to do a lot of talk wants to do this that and the other but let me tell you something there is only one true answer you can get and that's from the throne room of god amen so brother and sister let's listen to a uh testimony from brother boyd praise god you know he's a faithful caller hey if you would like to call don't forget to call 270-681-8098 praise god and uh after you hear my big mouth and you hear the beep hey why don't you just leave your testimony and tell me about this uh what you think about uh this topic about getting answers of the world or getting answers of the throne room. Which one would you choose? Do you choose what other people say, or do you choose what God says? Amen. So, brothers and sisters, I would love to hear from you. Uh, hey, don't forget to pass around the service today. Uh, download it, put it on the CD, and give it to someone else. God give it to me freely. I give it to you freely. So, brothers and sisters, let's listen to Brother Boyd and his testimony. Amen. Amen. Hello, Brother Willie. Uh, I love you, and I'm praying for you. God bless you. This is Brother Boyd London in Idaho. We're keeping me in prayers every day. I've got a piece of paper here in my Bible. It says, May God bless, prosper, heal, and help. And I'm praying for you and for your family, for everybody in the ministries there. We've been involved with the ministries of us. I've got a lot of people on that list. May God bless, prosper, heal, and help us today and help our ministries and meet the needs of the ministries and all of us today. I wanted to share my testimony. Testimonies are powerful like to encourage people to call in, call 270-681-8098 and share your testimony. They overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And Hebrews 3, 12 through 13 tells us to encourage our brothers and sisters daily so that no one develops a simple, unbelieving heart that turns away from the living God. And we can do that by our prayers and our testimonies. Here, uh, you know, I've shared this before. We've been going through a lot. My dad, Roy London, was doing great and on staff of our church and had a stroke, a bad stroke, and went down and got infections and passed away. And we have some disabled people we've been taking care of here, so that keeps me pretty busy, and uh, my mom started having some heart problems, so I've been taking care of her, too, and she thanks you for the prayers. We're claiming healing of that heart, and uh, my sister Ann wanted to thank you for the prayers also. She has that schizophrenia and depression and panic attack problems, and she's on a lot of medicine. The medicine's made her gain a lot of weight. She weighs like 550 pounds, and she's on level 4 and level 5 oxygen. We had to take her to the doctors the other day, and she ended up vomiting most of the day, and almost collapse when she's walking. It's really hard for her even to walk or move, and she needs prayers and does to lose weight. And thanks you so much for the prayers. And uh, I try to call into the testimony lines when I can and catch those programs when I can. I'll probably have to catch the one today later in the archive because I've got some stuff to do today. But uh, just wanted to let, share my testimony a little bit and thank you for the prayers. And, uh, you know, we're overcoming here. The prayers are helping us. God is helping us. And I also need to be able to go over to the Philippines soon where my fiance and her daughter Isabel are. And, uh, Edna called in the other day to the other testimony line and thanked everyone for the prayers. Edna sends her love to you all from the Philippines. She thanks you for the prayers, for me to be healed of all allergy problems so I can go to the Philippines and for us to be able to find a way to get those visas. We're having a hard time getting visas for her. The United States doesn't want people over here from third world countries. And Edna will call into the testimony line. She preaches to people, sings in the choir. Her daughter Isabel sings in the choir and preaches to people that are on fire for the Lord and we want to get them over here. And God is good. So that is my testimony. God is good. 
Father, right now I want to come to you and pray in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, and thank you for Jesus dying on the cross for our sins. We speak life and help into our body. We speak uh, help into our ministries to help get the good news of your Son, Jesus, out to a lost, dying, and hurting world today. Father, we resist the enemy in every form that he comes against us. We require our bodies to be strong and healthy, and we enforce it with your word. We reject the curse and enforce life and help into our bodies and claim that we are totally healed by the stripes, wounds, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. We thank you for healing and helping us all. I pray this prayer in the name of your Son, Jesus. God bless all. Amen. I stumble Through His grace, we'll make it home, but we got to do it through faith and understanding in the will of God. Amen. Praise God. You know, over in Philippi 4.19, it says, My God will use the wonderful riches in Christ Jesus to give you everything you need. Praise God. You understand what that means. Praise God. That when you seek out the glorious Word of God, and you seek out His power, His knowledge, His understanding, that he'll give you everything you need. Hello, Sister Carolyn. How we doing? I love you, sis. I hope everything is good in your life. And uh, I heard uh, that old uh, loudmouth preacher. Uh, did I say that out loud? My bad. <laughs> no, my brother. Brother Bishop Eddie Cheney. Everybody, please remember him. He's on the road headed your way, Sister Carolyn. Praise God that uh, keep him in um, prayer. Uh, the safe journey's there. Praise God. I wish I could be there, but I got arrangements I got to take care of, like pay bills. <laughs> Amen. I got to, this is my weekend to work, but uh, I see in the near future, praise God. No, I ain't calling we, uh, Cleo. I'm talking about what the Lord has showed me, that soon I will be going down there uh, to Eastern Kentucky. I might be sitting up a tent, or I might just have old porch service. I don't know. The Lord's going to show me, and that's where I'm going. Praise God. I hope everybody... 
over in Eastern Kentucky is doing good. Praise God. I hope that um, uh, Sister Caroline, I don't know, I don't know if you got kids or not, but if you do, Happy Mother's Day. Love you, sis. I hope that you do fine this weekend and uh, that God will provide the souls you to come. And maybe you'll be able to witness to somebody to change their heart that they'll turn over to the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. Praise God. I hope uh, everybody down there is uh, uh, sealed, sanctified, and ready to go to war. Because, you know, the devil, he's got a war. He's got a big mouth. I know that. It's the only power he's got. He's got the power of a tongue. But, you know, he likes talking to uh, the body of Christ and uh, make them change their ways of thinking. Praise God. So when you go hear somebody or you go listen to somebody, make sure you're suited up because the devil will use the word of God to make you trip. Amen. So brothers and sisters, hope you understand what thou say the Lord says. Amen. Praise God. Oh, like over here in Mark uh, eleven twenty four, it says, So I tell you to believe that you have Receive these things, and you ask for in prayer, and God will give them to you. Praise God. You see, everybody thinks that you can go talk to your preacher, or your teacher, or your bishop, or your, even your evangelist, amen, and they can give you the answer. See, the, if you want the pure answer, let me tell you something. Go to Jesus. Go to the go to the bended knee in prayer, praise God, that uh, he will give you the answer. See, we don't need to count on men or woman or child whatever it says you know the bible says not to have confidence in a man praise god but have confidence in the spirit and the holy ghost and god see my friends we need to stand up and proclaim the word of god and as we walk through this walk valley the shadow of death we don't know we need both to be in death just in the shadow of it see we need to bring people out of darkness into light and that's the biggest problem with the world today they want to live their life in a little bit of light and a little bit of darkness. See, let me tell you something. God don't work in shade. Amen. He works in pure light. Praise God. The pure energy of a glorious Lord. There is no darkness within him. See, that's what we need to get on fire. Every moment we get up and we have aches and pains, the first thing we need to get on our knees and get charged up by the word of Jesus Christ. Go to prayer and supplication, my friends. Today is the day of salvation. If you want to grab a hold of Jesus Christ, you don't have to wait to a big get-together. Just get a, on your knees and go one-on-one -on -one with Jesus Christ. He said, if you ask, you shall find. Praise God. So, brothers and sisters, today, are you seeking the word of God or are you just seeking to feel good? See, my friends, today, this is like a, like a song we'll fix and play here. That uh, I wish I could hear my mama pray for me one more time. You know, I miss my mom. She's been uh, been with the Lord for going on, uh, let's see, almost almost five years now. Praise God. I miss her. Oh, I miss her. I, if I could just have a talk to her. But I, I wouldn't want to bring her back to this situation. You know what I mean? When uh, my mama left this earth, she had lost both of her legs. And she was uh, uh, type 2 diabetes. And she was going into dementia. I wouldn't want to bring her back to that. But you know, one day, I'll be with her. But I won't be as her son. I'll be as a brother in Christ. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, listen to this song here. I heard my, it, uh, I heard my mama pray again. Praise God. Praise God.
but I know she prayed for me. Cause I heard my mother call my name in prayer. Yes, I heard my mother call my name in prayer. She was pouring out her heart to Jesus there. Then I gave my heart to him. family down there in Mississippi, Apostle Clovis Robinson, praise God, a great man of God, a great friend of mine, praise God, uh, that he, uh, him and his family, uh, I call him Big Boy, I, I can't think of his name right now, I just call him Big Boy, that's the biggest problem with me, I can't remember names, but I can remember faces, praise God, hello, Brother Irvin Taylor, how we doing, God bless you, brother, glad to see you pop in the room i hope you're doing fine today if you're not pray about it and get through it amen amen praise god you know i just feel good in spirit today you know god he's uh blessed me with another day to rise up and proclaim his word of god and to just to serve him on high amen see today is a day of salvation we need to give thanks to god for everything we have amen and uh you know and the memories praise god uh, one thing that God always he brings back to remembrance is me is the things that people has uh, done in my life, the things people has told me. And, you know, there's a lot of times I sit here and uh, I just let God be God. Amen? And he He brings me back to memories of my, the time I went down there to Mississippi. Praise God. Uh, Apostle Clovis. Amen? And uh, let me tell you, he's a great man of God. And, uh, boy, he, he shows you, he, he'll show you some things that make you flip your wig. Amen. Praise God. Now, a lot of people don't like old Clovis because he's direct. He's bold. But, hey, uh, Jesus, he wasn't no patty cake about it. He, when he come in, he stepped in with authority. Amen. And then that's a lot, uh, a lot of the reason why he had to go to the cross and die. Because he stepped on people's traditions and uh, they're the, what, the ways they lived their life. But you know, Apostle Clovis, he is a great man of God. Now, there will probably be a lot of people who say that, well, he said this about this person, he said that about that person. Well, the way I look at it, I don't go by secondhand, pe secondhand talking, amen. I go by what I see, amen, and what the Spirit tells me. Praise God. I went down there and spent a week with him, me and my family and my little girl. And uh, we went down there, and uh, he treated me like like a king i mean i mean it was it was an awesome time it got blessed and uh got got to pray for his family praise god you know now brother clovis he's not in the greatest health but um he, he takes every bit of his energy to help others that's one thing we both be doing my friends helping someone at least once a day. I mean, come on. You, you telling me there ain't nobody out there right now, at this very moment, that you couldn't help? Now, could you pray for them? Could you give them food? Could you get them clothes? Could you get them a, a place to lay at your house? See, that's the biggest problem. Everybody wants to pass the buck to somebody else. Praise God. They want to call up. Well, I got two guys here, and they they ain't got no word to stay. You got room for them? Well, why don't you just, hey, why don't you just get a, Pop out a couch, make a pallet on the ground, and uh, 
invite them into your house and bring the word of God. See, that's the biggest problem with people. Everybody has got this fear factor. They watch all, all these so many movies and well, like The Hitchhiker or Kidnap or whatever silly movies on out these days. They think, well, they're going to kill me. Well, you know, the Bible says this. Praise God, it says this. That if thou want to save thy own life, thou will surely lose it. So, do you want to have an eternal little life, or do you just want to have a life and then bust hell wide open? See, we got to follow the commandments of God. And a lot of people don't want to follow the commandments of God because it's too hard for them. Well, let me tell you something. It's going to be a whole lot harder in hell to follow them commandments because you can't pray your way out of hell. Amen. See, my friend, that's why we're on this ground right now is training grounds. Training grounds for heaven. See, my friend, you got to pass the test if you want to go to the glorious land of Lord Jesus Christ. And But the only way you can do that is through the blood and the word and the name of Jesus Christ. Praise God. So, brothers and sisters, today we're going to be talking, looking for answers. Are you looking for the world's answers or are you looking for the king's answers? Amen. See, a lot of people don't want to answer the question, am I right or am I wrong? Praise God. See, uh, I, don't, I don't mess around with theologian i don't sit around like a bunch of eggheads with a pencil and paper well i could do this but i can't because i ain't got the money or i can't do this because somebody might say something well i don't care what people say because they ain't gonna judge me at the end of the end of the day amen praise god when it comes down to judgment we'll we all face a great judgment and his name is jesus amen praise god so brothers and sisters uh while we uh, uh just just going through the word of god let's listen to a song from brother uh, uh brother urban praise god let's see what we got here praise uh well here i like it my little girl likes this song and i like it too two feet so let's enjoy this song Walking in my footsteps, I heard a little voice asking things I didn't know. I touched some tiny fingers, I reached out for her She's gonna follow me. I didn't know just where I'll go If she's following me Lord, I need to follow you If I'm a living example I need a whole lot of your life. Every step I take, well, it points to forever. I can't afford to lose. Help me make it right. Wasted so much time seeking after worldly pleasure with ever passing day. You knocked at my heart's door, though I gave you rejection. You just kept right on love me You sure got my attention Through daddy's little girl If she's following me Lord, I need to In a whole lot of your life, every 
let me make it right. Praise God, praise God. If you have children in your life today, you know, they look up to you, and they look for answers, amen? You know, that's that's the topic the Lord had me to talk about. What are you teaching your children, and what answers are you giving? Are you giving them what, what the world says, or are you giving them what God says? So many people today is called up in uh, their opinions, amen? You know, I get in so much trouble about that. People, Willie, ain't you listening to what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I'm listening to what you're saying, but there's a lot of times, there's a difference between God and in opinions. <laughs> Amen. See, opinions, we all have them. I just like elbows. Most people's got elbows, don't they? Praise God. <laughs> so, uh, they they bend them and they use them and uh, try to for, uh, long arm you. But let me tell you something. Your opinions won't get you into heaven. Only the true word of God. Amen. There's see now, now I got some men in my life. We got Brother Irvin and uh, Sister Carolyn, and uh, we got Bishop Eddie. Not in men and women of God. Amen. But you know, we got a lot of people out there has got opinions. Amen. <laughs> yeah, I know some men and women of God. Sometimes they get a little sideways. Praise God. And they say, well, if you don't do it this way, you don't truly get blessed. If you don't do it that way, you don't truly get blessed. Well, let me tell you something. I'm a live example that God gives blessings. Amen. Amen. See, like this ministry I'm sitting in right now, the Lord had put in my life. Yes, I did buy this building, but I made two payments. Amen. Two payments of two twenty five. All right. And uh, a listener, uh, they, he uh, come over here one day while I was fixing things up, and he hand me a uh, envelope. Praise God. And he, he had, uh, it was $2,500. And he says, uh, will that pay your uh, little ministry off here? And I said, well, yeah, of course. He said, well, you go do that. And I said, well, uh, uh, how can I thank you? And he said, just pray for me. Uh, that uh, he, he seen, now this man, he wasn't right with God. Now, now, don't get me wrong. Now, he was saved, but he was a backslider. Amen. And see, God will use anybody. Praise God. But he come over. He says, I listen to your services. All right. And uh, sometimes you get on my nerves. But some most of the time when I think about it, praise God, uh, it makes sense. <laughs> well, praise God. He said, and I told but right before he left, and I says, I don't know what I'm fixing to say. You might want to take your envelope back. He says, no. No, Lord put it on my heart to give it to you. Spit it out. What do you got? And I says, I said, you, don't, you know you don't have to stay in that state of mind of backslide. Amen. You could turn to the God, turn back to the Lord Jesus Christ in any moment. He said, I know, but I'm, I'm working things out. Well, I, this is what I told him before he left. And I says, you, I hope you don't wait too long to work it out. He says, because death is just only a heartbeat away. He just kind of shook his head and went on. And I said, well, thank you, my friend. He said, well, I love you, bro. <laughs> I love you, too. And he just drove away. And uh, this old man, he uh, he's about almost 70 years old, praise God. And uh, he, See, there's a difference between knowing you're a backslider and not knowing. <laughs> Amen. Amen. A lot of people, they go to church and then get to go into the, the uh what I call Christianity uh, click, think they're right with God, but actually they're a backslider. But a lot of them won't admit it. But this old boy did. So I met a few in my lifetime in the last few uh, years that uh, that they uh, they speak the word of God, but their actions don't cover it. Amen. So my friends, today, we, I want to ask you, do you know the answers that God has done for you today? And uh, if you'd like to, hey, call us up. Praise God, 270-861-8098. And uh, tell us what God has done for you today. See, it, you, all it takes is just one little phone call. If you got a cell phone, hey, it's a few minutes that you could share the gospel. Amen. Brother Boyd, he's faithful to call in. And sometimes Sister Shirley. Uh, I used to have some more, but I guess I made them all mad, but that ain't the first time, and probably won't be the last. But you know, Jesus is good. Amen. He said, you would be prosecuted for my name's sake when you come straight and bold, 
from the kingdom of God. Praise God. But you know, I, a lot of people has told me that I got what you call that Elijah spirit. I call yeah, I call fire on you, <laughs> man. Uh, praise God. You know, uh, sometimes you you got to speak loud and be bold in the word of God, and uh, you got to be truthful. Amen. If you see sin, you call it out, my friend. You don't play pity patty with the world, cause the world has nothing for you. So, like his song here, Lazarus, come forth. Heartbroken, tears falling, Martha found Jesus. She questioned why Lazarus had died. God is asking us today, come forth and be true to the world and show, let that light shine in you. Let the world see it. Amen. You know, like, um, you know, a lot of people seek out for answers. and But see, the answers is right in front of you. Amen. <laughs> it's in the word of God. If you would just stop, pray, and let God in your life. Amen. Let's remember, like I said, uh, Bishop Eddie Cheney, he's on the road down there to Eastern Kentucky. Let's uh, let's say a prayer for him right now, that uh, on his journey down there, that uh, more souls be won in for the kingdom of God, and people will open their ears, their spirit, and their heart. Amen. So let's go to prayer right now. Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this day. Lord, we ask you, we pray for this family. Uh, Bishop Eddie Cheney and Pauline and all that's with him, Lord, we ask you, mighty God, that you keep him safe 
and in your will, Lord. We ask you, mighty God, that you cleanse him from anything of a strife, anger, wrath, anything that the devil can use to destroy him. Lord, we ask you, mighty God, to send the hedge of protection. Lord, we ask you, mighty God, that you lift him up. Yes, Lord, lift him up and give him the power to overcome all temptation. Lord, we ask you to have peace in his life and let the will be done through you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Amen. 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 I don't know about you, brothers and sisters, but I think he's going down there to working on a building. Amen. So enjoy this song, Working on a Building. <laughs> kingdom of God. So brothers and sisters right now, Lord just put a word upon my heart so stretch your hand forth and let's pray. Lord of Heavenly Father, we come before you mighty God in your throne room. Lord, the ones are seeking out answers today, Lord, that we ask you mighty God that you put upon their life tonight, Lord. We ask you mighty God, let them be filled with your Holy Ghost and to be covered in the inside, outside, and all around mighty God. Lord, we ask you to suit them up with your suit of salvation and righteousness, mighty God. As we bring the word today, Lord, let us set aside and let these lips speak your word lord lord we ask you mighty god that you bless our homes our families our ministries and all what we do lord in your holy name jesus christ praise god praise god so day to day brother sisters we're talking about getting answers have you seeked out the answers of god today praise god have you stood up in the gap for him today to tell the world that He's not dead. Amen. Praise God. You know, Lord, he just showed me something here in the Word. Amen. In Matthew 5, starting at the 17th verse, it says, Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. So, my friends, the law is still in effect. Amen. Praise God. You know, a lot of people today think they can do what they want. 
and when they want, but God says, I've not come to destroy, but to fulfill. He's come to fulfill what he has done for you today. He has come to tell you that if you're in the wrong, you will burn and you will go to hell. See, my friends, you must change today. You must stand up and proclaim the word of God. When the battle comes to you, you hit it square shoulders, my friend. Not, not in a physical form, but in a spiritual battle. See, that's, that's why these evangelists, these bishops, these singers, all the ones that are doing the will of the Father, you're going to be knocked down. You're going to be kicked around. But he said you'll do it in his sake. Amen. See, my friends, today we need to understand that he didn't come to destroy God's people. He came to enrich them. Amen. He come to show you today that you have a choice. You could follow his lead and do his commandments. Or you could follow the world and bust hell wide open. See, my friends, today we have caught ourselves up in a politically correct. Amen. Everybody wants, well, everybody, this gay thing going on, we're just going to have to pet their sin, and we just have to get along. Let me tell you something. If you're going to pet somebody's sin, you might as well hold their hand when you walk right into hell, because that's what you're doing. See, you're shaking the hands of God away and grabbing the hands of the devil, and you say that you love them, but you won't tell them the truth. And the reason why you won't tell them the truth is because you're scared, because they're politically correct. Let me tell you something. You might not think I'm politically correct. I don't care. See, I serve a mighty God. Praise God. I serve a God that died on a cross for me. Amen. I serve a God that he gave me 66 cannons to go by. Praise God. You know, 18th verse, he says, For very, I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass away, uh, one jot or one tittle shall shall it not wise be passed from the law till it be fulfilled see my friends so many people today that thinks that that the old testament is no longer in effect let me tell you something it's still very in effect all god's commandments the ten commandments the story about noah the story about sodom and gomorrah all that's going to have to replay one day and not the flood now, don't get, don't miss and through me. We won't be flooded by this world. See, the next time it's going to be with fire and brimstone. See, there's a great judgment coming, my friend, that if you sit around and pat people's sins and say, well, you're not right, you're, you're going to hell, instead of reaching your hand out and showing mercy and showing them the truth, let me tell you something, my friends. Every time that you turn away from somebody, you'll have to answer for it. That's the problem with the world today. They says, well, I can't talk to them because they won't hear. So I'm going to have to just walk away. Let me tell you something. Their day of judgment is coming. What will God find you in? Will he find you in his will or will he find you of the will of the world? My friends, today, not one jot or tittle should be changed. Amen. Not one thing should be coming out of your mouth that is not from God's throne room. See, a lot of people criticize me because I work a full-time job and I work full-time ministry. See, it. the Lord told me till he makes a way for me to go full-time ministry that I had to work. Amen. <laughs> and I don't mind because he gives me strength to go to work. But you know, a lot of people today are criticizing me. Well, Willie, ain't you, don't you got people that love you? Yeah, I got people that love me. Don't you got people that give you money? No. Well, why don't they? Because I don't go for money. Amen. I go to bring the kingdom of God to people's hearts. Bust up of them old stones. Amen. But Willie, people ain't going to... Uh, take you for that, and I said, "Well, I, I'm not, I'm not here to make people's ears tickle. I'm here to bring the truth." So many people today have lost their way. They think they can go to some singing or some uh, church click and uh, they can get their get their feel good on. Let me tell you something. This old boy here is not here for a feel good. I've come to break the walls of sin away from you. 
See, I'm taking the hammer, and it's called the sword, the blade. Amen? The sword of Jesus Christ. To cut them sins away, to bring the truth to you. See, the answer is in the Word of God. And it's through the men and women and children of God that come to your life to show you the peace, the truth, and the understanding. See, my friends, you know, every time that you walk away and you say, well, I can't do this because I might hurt their feelings. Well, let me tell you something. I'd rather hurt your feelings and you go to heaven than you be happy with me and go to hell. Because I sure ain't going to follow you. Amen. See, my friends, I'm going, I, I have made my way to go to glory land. And there ain't nothing in this world going to stop me from going. See, if I go to hell, it's because of my own. See, I believe that Jesus Christ is coming back. And I don't believe he's coming back just for me. I believe there's more that he's coming for back for too. You know, a lot of churches today think that if you're in my, if you're in their church, you're the only ones going to heaven. See, don't be deceived by the devil's tricks. There, see, God ain't coming back for something made out of brick and mortar. He's coming back for something made out of flesh and blood, and blessed, sanctified, to be in His will. See, my friends, today we need to stand up and suit up, cause the devil. He's got a big mouth. Amen. He's had a big mouth since the creation. Don't believe me? Check out Genesis. He talked at uh, Eve and uh, eating an apple and then conned Adam into it. See, I thought he got He didn't force no gun to her head. He didn't put no rope around her neck. He twisted God's word. Amen. Think about this, my friends. Today, we need to understand that God is good all the time. Praise God. Uh, Bishop Eddie Cheney says in the chat room, Hi, everyone. God bless you. Love you all. Please keep us in prayer as we go to Kentucky for revival. Yeah, remember, he's got a heavy list down there. he got revival. I don't think he's going to even have time to eat and get a bologna sandwich. He's going to be up and down all around. Amen. Praise God. So let's remember, uh, Bishop Eddie, we just said a prayer for you and your family, uh, Bishop Eddie. Uh, let's remember um, uh, all the ministers on the road, amen. You know, I um, I run across a lot of them, amen. But, you know, the funny thing is that most of them, they're walking, <laughs> amen, <laughs> amen. Uh, uh, I met, I see, I, in the last three months, I've met three of them, praise God. They're homeless. But, you know, they, they'd rather be homeless. And I asked them about why. I asked one of them one time, I said, well, why do you want to be that way? And he says, well, the Bible says the birds have uh, branches, fox have hole, but God didn't have nowhere to lay his head. He says, sometimes I don't have a place to lay my head. And he says, ain't we both be Christ-like? I say, well, yeah, amen. And uh, let me tell you something. When he gets down down to the bone back, that's what we got to do, my friends. We got to let everything go. Amen. We can't have nothing to hold us from this, uh, being in the will of the Father. No car, no house, no not even grandchildren and children. See, we got to have a personal walk with Jesus Christ every second of every moment of our life. See, when you put God on the back burner, that's what you'll get. You'll get burnt. <laughs> Amen? I'm telling you, my friends, my family, today, if you do not know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I want you to take this answer. Tell me something the world can give you. They'll give you an in, in eternal life. I can't name one. But there's only one thing that can give you eternal life, and that's our Lord Jesus Christ. See, today, too many people are turning away from God and the Word of God. And everybody wants to pat everybody else on the back. And I don't give a care if I never get a nickel from nobody. See, my friends, this is what I'm doing. I just want to be a blessing to someone. Someone to hear the word of God and change their heart. See, my friend, the book is fixing to be closed. This world is fixing to go under. But while we're still alive, my friends... Why don't you get up 
and give praise and glory to our Lord. My friends, my family, that's what the Lord had me to say to you today. Stand up and give God all the praise and glory. Remember Brother Boyd and his family as he takes his journeys and do what God had him to do. Praise God. Let's remember Bishop Eddie Cheney and his family and his ministry. Let's remember Brother Irvin Taylor, his ministry. Let's remember Brother Greg Dotson and his ministry. Let's remember Evangelist Chris Cheney and his ministry. See, my friends, we need to be praying for all these small ministries to grow and be stronger because the battle is coming, my friends. It's already here, but it's going to get wax worse. So, my friends, as we uh, sign off here today, remember that Jesus is coming. And I hope and pray that you find a way that you serve him high on high. See, my friends, today, the devil's on the devil's in the phone booth. Amen. And it's dial on line one one. But let me tell you something. If you're lost and undone or in a backsledding state, remember that Jesus Christ died for you. All you gotta do is go to that bended knee and ask him for forgiveness. Pick up your cross and follow him and die daily. I'll tell you this much being a Christian is not easy. But let me tell you something, the payday at the end of the end of the line is more worth it than anything in this world. So this is yours truly, the Evangelist Willie Grizzle. If you'd like to uh, media in local area or if I can make it, have a revival to come to your house or church or park lot, I don't it doesn't matter to me. If God sends me there, that's where I'll be. Just all you gotta do is call two seven oh six eight one eighty ninety eight or you can call my cell. 270-943-8429. You can call either one of them. And let's just obey God. Amen. That's that's what we both to do. You don't have to pay me nothing. But if God puts it on your heart to help this ministry in any way, hey, I ain't going to turn it away. But make sure it that God told you to do it. Don't think uh, that I'm pressuring you or asking you to do anything. I'm just telling you to obey God. So, my friends, my family, keep me in prayer. Keep my family in prayer. But most of all, keep yourself in prayer. This is yours truly, Brother Willie Grizzle from the House of Prayer Radio Ministry. Keep praying, folks. Oh, no.